Hello friends and welcome to our Lake Point Kids online family experience. I'm Ms. Rachel and I'm so happy you stopped by today. Have you had a candy cane yet this year? Mmm, I'm about to have my first one. They're so yummy. You know what else is neat about a candy cane? If you hold it like this, it looks like the letter J. Can you trace the letter J with me? Good. Now can you guess whose name starts with the letter J? Well, I guess lots of people have names that start with J, like Jennifer, Judah, Julia, Jackson. But I'm thinking of someone very, very special whose birthday we're going to be celebrating at Christmas. Yes, you've got it! Jesus' name starts with the letter J. And if you turn the candy cane this way, it kind of looks like something someone uses in the Christmas story. Can you think who it might be? No, it's not something the angel used or Mary. I'll give you a hint. Ba <laughs> ba. Who looks after sheep? Yes, a shepherd! And this looks like a shepherd's staff, something they would use to help guide and care for the sheep. Who would have guessed that a candy cane has so many connections to the story of when baby Jesus was born? <gasps> I know. Let's play a game right now. Let's play Simon Says, but instead of Simon Says, it'll be Shepherd Says. So, if I say Shepherd Says, then you need to do what I say. But if I don't say Shepherd Says, you don't do anything. All right, why don't you stand up and we'll give this game a try. Shepherd says, drum roll on your knees. Shepherd says, stomp your feet. Shepherd says, turn around one time. Shepherd says, wiggle your ears. Run on the spot. <gasps> Whoops, did I trick you? I hope you didn't run on the spot because I didn't say Shepherd says. You know, in our story today there are some shepherds and guess what? They end up running. But why? Well go ahead and sit down while we learn more about that from our friends at the clubhouse.
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Hello, friends. It's your pal, Luca. And guess what I have? Another pair of Christmas pajamas. This time with sheep on them. What sound does a sheep make? That's right! A sheep says, Bah! You sounded just like a sheep. My friends and I are getting ready for a Christmas pajama party. We have all the snacks for our Christmas pajama party. Yum! We have awesome decorations for our Christmas pajama party. And I'm getting ready for a super fun game where you run really fast like this. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Running a race, are you? Hi, Ollie. We're having a Christmas pajama party, and I'm practicing running really fast for our party game. Running fast is fun to do. I know someone who ran fast, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> Hola, everyone. It's almost Christmas. Is anyone excited? Oh, me too. I am so excited that I just want to run up to every person I see and have a little party. <laughs> that reminds me of today's true story from the Bible. If you want to help me build it. <laughs> Great. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. <laughs> Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Oh, look, this must be the night Jesus was born. Oh, it looks like a beautiful night, but it definitely wasn't quiet. You see, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby. And what do shepherds take care of? <laughs> That's right. Shepherds take care of sheep. But not just one sheep. Shepherds take care of a whole flock of sheep. <laughs> now what sound do sheep make? Right. <laughs> Very good, sheep. Okay, you can stop buying because I've got something special to tell you. Now lean in so I can whisper it. They don't know it yet, but on this very night, not too far away, Jesus, God's son, was born. Let's all do an excited quiet dance. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Yay! Great job. <laughs> all right, you can stop dancing now. Well, God is about to make a big announcement right out here in this field. And they are going to be so surprised. <laughs> Watch this. An angel appeared in the sky. The shepherds were so surprised. And the angel said, a special baby has been born. He is God's son. Go and find him in the manger. Suddenly, the whole sky was filled with angels. They were praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest. Huh? Let's pretend we're angels too. Now hold out your pretend angel wings and let's say, glory to God in the highest. Ready? Glory to God in the highest. Great. 
Let's do it again, but louder. Glory to God in the highest. <laughs> Great job. Okay, everyone put their angel wings down. Everyone was excited about Jesus being born because Jesus is God's son. When the angels left, the shepherds had to remember what the angels told them to do. Hmm, do you remember? Where did the angels tell the shepherds to go? Right, to go find baby Jesus in the manger. So, they ran to see Jesus. And once they saw him, they knew they needed to go tell everyone that Jesus, God's son, was born. Everyone who heard the good news that Jesus had been born was amazed. They knew Jesus was special because Jesus was God's son. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Merry Christmas, everyone. Feliz Navidad. So there's your story, and it's all true. The shepherds ran to see Jesus, God's gift for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, the shepherds were so excited that they ran to see Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, do you want to practice with me? Let's all stand up and run in place. Great job! You can sit down now. Well, I'm gonna go run like the shepherds and tell all my neighbors that Jesus is God's son. Bye! God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3, 16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3, 16. The greatest gift ever is Jesus. God sent Jesus to the world because he loves us and God chose to tell this exciting news to some shepherds first. It was late at night and they were watching their sheep in the field when suddenly a bright light filled the sky. It was an angel. The angel told the shepherds that God's son had been born and they should go and find him. Then a whole bunch of angels joined together in the sky singing glory to God in the highest. The shepherds were amazed. They couldn't believe what had happened. They ran off and they looked for baby Jesus. Once they found him, they worshiped him. They were so thankful that God had sent Jesus to the world for them, for you, for everyone. God loved the world so much that he gave us Jesus. Today, friends, I want you to play a few rounds of Shepherd Says with some people in your house. You can all take turns being the shepherd. Parents, when it's your turn to be the shepherd, try to incorporate some of the Christmas story into the game. Maybe ride the donkey to Bethlehem or rock baby Jesus. Parents, now is the time to either scan the QR code on the screen or head over to the Lake Point app to fill out our online connection card. Signing our guest book lets us know who is watching and helps us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest Lake Point initiatives and opportunities. So friends, while your parents are busy doing that, why don't you pretend to be a sheep?
feel free to enjoy our earlier Lake Point Kids online family experiences on our YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the family resources section. Friends, I'm so glad you tuned in today. I'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. Remember, Jesus is God's son. 